In this video series, I'm going to get you started on smart contracts and how to develop your app using smart contracts. And it's not as hard as you think because we're going to look at a very simple and versatile language called DAMO. Hi, this is Steve Seow from Digital Asset. I have been in the tech industry for a long time, and every year there's always a handful of technologies that are skyrocketing more than the rest. When I first joined the tech world, it was all about mobile. And then Facebook came along and social became very important. And then there was the cloud, which then opened the door to ML, AI, IoT. And let's not forget VR, AR, voice, which are here to stay. One of the hardest technologies and trends that you should be aware of that's changing not just the tech world, but all the industry that it touches is blockchain and smart contracts. In this video series, I'm going to get you started on smart contracts and how to develop your app using smart contracts. And it's not as hard as you think because we're going to look at a very simple and versatile language called DAMO. You are continuing to watch because you're here to learn something new. Or maybe you're here to kick the tires to find out what this smart contract thing is all about. Or maybe you want to learn how to hack. Not the bad hack, the good hack. You know, creating innovative solutions that can solve real world problems. You are at the right place. This video series will provide you with the context and then cover the fundamentals. And obviously we'll dig into code to show you actually how to write the code. Each episode is meant to be short, independent, and then it will cover the fundamentals because your app eventually will be more sophisticated than what this video series can cover. But it's important that you have the fundamentals right. Before we go any further, let's clear up five misconceptions that you may have about smart contracts. Number one. Developing smart contracts requires cryptocurrency. That is not true. You do not need cryptocurrency to write smart contracts. Number two. Smart contracts work like Bitcoin, so some server farm of expensive hardware is required. That is incorrect. There's plenty of platforms out there that offers blockchain as a service. Number three. Smart contracts run on public blockchain infrastructures, so no privacy? That is incorrect. You can have a private blockchain. Number four. Smart contracts is only for financial transactions. Mm, not quite true. We're going to learn in this video series of many, many applications of smart contracts in healthcare, in insurance, in all kinds of industries. Number five. Smart contracts is too new and unstable for real world use. That is incorrect. The blockchain technology behind smart contracts have existed in the early 90s. So those are the big five misconceptions about smart contracts and, and working with them. Maybe you already know them. But do you know what happened in September of 2008 and what it has to do with smart contracts? We'll save it for next time. See you in the next episode.